I'm interested in a uh, number of aspects of aging muscle in regard to its function, in terms of the mechanisms that regulate its size and why it gets smaller. And we're particularly interested in the behavior of the muscle stem cells, the satellite cells of muscle in old age. I became interested in physiology um, from my background as, a, as an athlete. I did a, did a degree in sports science and I became more and more interested in the behavior of the body and the mechanisms which regulate how we adapt. And over time, I've become interested in uh, aging muscle and uh, how muscles have an ability to adapt and respond to exercise in later life. I used to be a 400 meter hurdler and uh, I was a junior international athlete who was never good enough to make it as a senior. And uh, every Olympics goes by, I think, of what it might have been. If I'd have known a little bit more, perhaps I could have been that much better. But I suspect I was training as hard as I could have possibly trained and was just genetically not good enough and not fast enough to have made it. I think it's, uh, it's very interesting. There are clearly some, I, I shouldn't say this as a physiologist, but there are clearly psychological components. It's very different, difficult to differentiate between, for example, uh, the top eight competitors in a 100 meters final or the top eight marathon runners physiologically to be able to uh, undertake tests in the laboratory which will be able to predict which will be the, the best athletes. So there are clearly components over and above uh, what we can measure in a physiological environment to, to understand performance. But yes, when we talk about uh, athletics, swimming, rowing, these are the events where clearly the, the physiological these are the events where clearly the physiological component of performance dominates rather than other sports where you could argue that there are more skillful motor control elements. Whole body physiology determines your success in those events. This is a very important meeting because what it does is bring together people from different disciplines. Although we share an interest in physiology, we have people who come from a cell biology and molecular biology background right up to whole body physiological performances. And when you can start bringing people together like that, where disciplines are shared towards common goals, we begin to be able to think of new experiments, uh, new ideas, uh, new hypotheses that we could test using a variety of tools that are now at our disposal and techniques are developing all of the time. So to come to a meeting like this with such a large uh, array of really uh, expert people, it's, it's a fantastic environment to really fertilise new ideas. In, in my opinion, I think we, we are close to the limits of what's going to be realistically attainable. We're clearly optimizing training methods, we're optimizing nutrition methods, we're optimizing the ability of athletes to have uh, medical backup to have rapid recovery from injuries. Um, technology has advanced to optimize the biomechanics of uh, footwear, for example. So we are coming close to the optimal, I suspect, of what we're going to be able to achieve.